Welcome to this five-part series on using Excel Business Intelligence, also known as Power BI. We're going to be looking at some human resource data in this series. So first off, congratulations. You are one of a small percentage of Excel users who are currently investigating or looking at the fact of using Excel's most powerful tools. Excel Business Intelligence can make it easy for you to create management reports, ask ad hoc questions of your data, and create interactive dashboards. But most importantly, you're going to do this in time that is a lot quicker, much more productive than using Excel spreadsheets. So what is Excel Business Intelligence? It's a set of tools that make it easy for us to summarize, visualize, and ask questions of our data. These tools are available in Excel 2007, 2010, and 2013. However, it's really only in Excel 2013 where these tools all come together and work together. So let's have a look at how these tools come together in Excel 2013. Spreadsheets have always been a main part of Excel. Spreadsheets make it easy for us to be able to write formulas and produce management reports. However, this tends to be time consuming and take a lot of time from people. Tables were introduced in Excel 2007. Tables make it easy for us to ask ad hoc questions, filter data, sort data, to be able to produce subtotals, grand totals. And pivot tables have always been around for quite a long time, 15 or 20 years in Excel. However, as we said before, and it was really in a, only in Excel 2007 that they became really a good tool to use. So if we look at the other technologies that are on the slide, we can see that down at the bottom is a technology called Power Query. Power Query makes it easy for us to be able to import and transform our data. So anybody who works with data that is outside of Excel would find Power Query to be a very useful tool. We then have the Power Pivot and the Data Model. Although we don't have the time now, Power Pivot is a really powerful tool. It's a database basically allowing us to work with millions of records of data, also to be able to create relationships between data and produce some powerful custom calculations. Power View and Power Map are on the presentation level. Power View is a canvas that allows us to be able to create interactive dashboards. We'll be looking at examples of this. Power Map is a three-dimensional uh, geocoding system. So it allows us to do geographical analysis which is very very powerful. And then at the top is the Power BI infrastructure. This allows us to share our models and be able to send them to other people with the right authentication within the organization and to use tools such as tablets to be able to view our data. So as you can see the Excel 2013 uh, set of tools is extremely powerful. So in this five-part overview, we're going to be using the Excel Business Intelligence tools to analyze a typical sort of employee data file. It's going to have 50 employees in it. We're also going to have a second table, which is going to show training data for the employees. We're going to show how we can easily use these tools to link tables together, to create reports in seconds, being able to produce graphs, interactive dashboards, being able to really visually understand our, our data and our information. We're going to be able to create some new custom calculations and be able to put these together using pivot tables and power view. We're also going to have a look at power query and power map and how these tools can help us with our data analysis. So we trust that you enjoyed this overview of Excel Business Intelligence tools and techniques and uh, please keep in contact with us through our websites as on the slide. Thank you very much for your time.